Now, usually when you check out uh, M.2 SSDs, they come in varieties of sizes for storage. Of course, you get 500 terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabytes of storage. Now, here we have Team Group T Force Z44Q. This is the Gen 4 times 4 M.2 SSD with two terabytes of storage, and you have one more possibility with four terabytes of storage. So this is quite interesting, and there's no uh, less than two, I would say, because they only produce two and four terabytes of storage. Now, here we have the standard Cardea design of the heatsink. We have graphene and aluminum part, and we have one plus one heatsink. So let's check out the interior. You have two options with it, of course. You have the possibility with, as I stated, the additional heatsink that you go with, uh, that you can place it on your M.2 SSD and it can cool the bottom part and the top part since we have the M.2 SSD which is double sided. So yeah, that's it. Now you also have here the Cardia Graphene part which you can place on top and if you decide to go with the original heatsink coming from your motherboard, it's all up to you but I think uh, something like this would definitely cool better the M.2 SSD DZ44Q. Now here we have the M.2 SSD which has Python E16 controller on it. Now the speeds on this particular M.2 uh, range up to 5000 uh, megabytes per second in read and 4000 megabytes per second in write. Now when we're talking about some specifications and some features, uh, this SSD adopts QLC flash and supports the latest PCI E Gen 4 times 4 interface which goes out with the capacity up to 4 terabytes so you have as I already stated we have here 2 terabytes and you have 4 you have two types of uh, heat spreaders for you to choose so you have the graphene and the uh, aluminium fin type uh, head spreader what they stated is that the graphene reduces the heat by 9% and the uh, aluminium uh, heat sink lowers it down by 50% now it also has PLM which is predictable latency mode which can effectively uh, reduce latency time and the write loss and improve the uh, QoS uh, of the system. Uh, the use of the latest read recovery level technology can also improve the service uh, life of SSD. Now the operational temperature goes from 0 Celsius degrees to 70 Celsius degrees. Uh, terabytes written on 2 terabytes of storage is 400 and on 4 terabyte is 800. Uh, in Crystal Disk Mark, uh, we got uh, read uh, speeds up to 5000 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 3.7 thousand megabytes per second. Talking about IOPS, uh, read are up to 350k and the write is up to 600k. Mean time before failure is uh, 3 million hours and it basically supported on all operational systems. This beautiful drive was placed on uh, MSI MPG X570S Carbon EKX and paired up with AMD Ryzen 9 15950X to get maximum results of course and uh, the results are quite uh, what they stated on the box and on their uh, website so you get uh, 4.98 gigabytes per second read and 3.5 maybe even more 3.6 gigabytes per second write so that's quite all right there's no issues and the cool thing is that this heatsink keeps uh, the ssd really cool and prevents thermal throttling so this is really nice because the speeds are constant and you don't see variations in speeds uh, during the tests and uh, you won't notice sudden drops uh, which could affect your gaming, your copying files or whatever you're doing on your PC. Uh, it won't affect the uh, SSD. So yeah, that's really nice. Now, as I stated already in the first part of the video, when we're talking about uh, random read 4K, uh, we have uh, latency up to uh, almost uh, 200 microseconds with IOPS going above uh, 350K. And then we have random write 4K, which has latency above 600 microseconds and goes around 190k IOPS. This uh, M.2 SSD is the latest uh, QLC M.2 SSD from them and it uh, really does fit nicely in the consumer grade uh, usage with uh, 
let's put it this way gen 4 price and performance and you get what you're aiming for so quite nice speeds first of all great cooling uh, capability if you don't have for instance that passive heat sinks on your motherboard you can always go with this one and you just need to place uh, thermal pads on it and basically that's it uh, compact it doesn't stick out that much so you're quite all right and it has certain designs so the heat can dissipate nicely and keep the ssd well the chips uh, quite cool it also comes with ssd monitoring tools so you can always uh, do some detailed monitoring benchmarks or whatever you wish and uh, keep uh, an eye on the ssd for health uh, performance and everything else that might come in mind to you so the cardas z44q is an outstanding m.2 gen 4 times 4 ssd that performs quite nicely as they always promote on the box and on their website uh, you get those speeds on your m.2 ssds even though some of the uh, speeds are a bit less i would say about 100 megabytes lower than the advertisement and that is concerning the write the read is really up there 5000 uh, megabytes per second so you don't have to worry about it but i would say quite nice ssd with quite nice performance and i think you will be quite satisfied if you're aiming for something with large capacity and great speeds for gen 4 times 4. So uh, all in all, I'll place the links below for the team group T-Force Z44, well basically Cardea Z44Q with 2 terabytes. You also have 4 terabytes uh, that you could choose from. And also don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, hit the notification bell for future content so you don't miss any. And hopefully I will see you in another one. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye bye.